Today's in this video, we are going to cover GeForce Now best settings to boost your FPS and having the low amount of input delay out of your any PC or laptop. So guys, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, please make sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to my channel. And with wasting any time, let's dive straight into over this video. So guys, in the very first step, you need to download the NVIDIA GeForce Now on your PC and obviously you have this application already installed on your PC. So in the very first step, you need to right click here onto this icon and go straight into the properties. Now go for the compatibility and make sure to check mark onto the disable full screen optimization and then go for the change high DPI settings and also check mark onto this option. Now after that click OK, hit apply and click OK. Once you apply these compatibility settings on your NVIDIA GeForce Now application, now in the next step you need to open up this application and now we are going to do the best settings for our GeForce Now in app settings. So for that you need to go for the three lines here or open up the menu then open up the settings of the GeForce Now and here is all the streaming quality settings and the resolution upscaling settings which help you to getting the better performance, better FPS and the less input delay in GeForce Now Fortnite. So in the very first step here is the balance settings, data saver settings, competitive settings and the custom settings. You are watching this video, so I'm going to show you the best custom settings, which help you to getting the uh, best FPS, best video quality with the low internet speed. So for that, you need to go for the max bitrate and set it on to the auto because this is uh, the automatically adjusted by the GeForce Now and this is the best option for you. In the next step here is the resolution if you have a 920 by 1080 p monitor spot it so guys make sure to select it but if you have 720p monitor and you have low internet speed so then you need to go for uh, 1280 by 720 p because it will give you better fps and better graphics quality but i have a good internet speed and good uh, monitor so i will go with 920 by 1080 p after that here is the uh, frame rate and now you need to adjust it according to your available plan if you have 120 fps plan so go for 120 fps but right now i'm on the basic or standard plan so i'm going with a 60 fps and after that here is the v-sync so you can simply uh, turn it off i suggest you to turn it off because it will make your uh, game more smooth and also help you to getting the low amount of input delay so once you're done now here is the final setting which is the adjust for poor network settings condition and guys make sure to turn it on because if at some point your internet speed is low so it will automatically manage that so therefore turn on this option now scroll down and find out resolution upscaling and simply set it on to the uh, standard and here is the standard upscaling provide most compatible quality or performance so guys go for the standard mode and after applying all of the settings now simply close out your geforce now now in the next step guys we are going to download the isl on our pc link available down in the description open up the link and that will take you onto my website where you will find out the same exact article with the same thumbnail of youtube video you are watching right now so open up that article and download the ISLC on your PC. After downloading this tool, it will help you to reducing the delay of your mouse and keyboard. So go for this exit file of the ISLC, double tap here and now select out here the location where you want to extract it. Click on the extract button and you will find this folder. Open up this folder, go for the ISLC. I have already installed this application on my PC and using it for a long time. So here is the best setting for the ISLC. In the very first step, you need to click on this stop button now go for this wanted timer resolution and check mark onto this box which is the enable custom timer resolution therefore you can change this value so set it onto the 0.05 millisecond which is the lowest amount of input in there possible you can get out of your pc now go for the islc polling rate and set it onto the 10,000. and on the left side you will find out the standby list uh, options and you need to first go for this box and set it onto the 2024 mb and the free memory is lower than you need to type here the half size of your ram like i have the 16 gb of the ram so i have type here 8000 if you have the 8 gb of the ram so go for a 4000 mb after that go for the boxes which is the start isc now go for the next option which is the start isc minimize and this is automatically launch this application in your background whenever you turn on your pc so check mark on the both boxes and after that go for the start button and start this application and click on the minimize button and this will keep running in your background whenever you turn on your pc after that again launch your geforce now and enjoy the best performance in geforce now in any game which you want to play with best performance and low amount of input delay. i hope so this video really helped you so make sure drop a like on this video subscribe to my channel and share your opinion about this video in the comment section so till let the next video peace out